Okay, so before proceeding to uh, challenge introduction in QA, uh, let's just uh, try. Uh, I, I want you guys to tell me how it was last week. I, will, I wasn't able to join the presentation session. Just want to know a brief, uh, a brief description of how it has been. So if I just type in the chat or you can raise your hand and speak. Uh, was it good? Was it bad? Like, what were the challenges? And what were what was the flow? Uh, okay, so thank you everyone for sharing. I, I know you might have shared this one on standards, but uh, uh, I wasn't able to join the call today, so that was, that's why I'm asking you. Okay, uh, great. Uh, I hope you had a productive and uh, enjoyable week. So I'll just proceed to the challenge introduction part. I'll just share uh, the challenge document and we'll start as always by you guys sharing your understanding about the challenge document. You can just type in the chat or raise your hand and speak. Uh, okay. okay, hello uh, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello? Okay. Uh, okay, for, for the for this week, I think the, the challenge uh, is uh, related to uh, cre credit uh, scoring. Uh, so we are expected to to develop a credit uh, scoring uh, models. And I, I didn't uh, read it uh, in detail, but I think I, for for the previous uh, for the previous uh, challenge, we used the the time time series uh, time series uh, machine learning uh, models, uh, the recurrent uh, neural network. So I think for for this week, uh, we we will uh, be using uh, the classification uh, machine learning models i think those those are uh, different so i think this week will uh, will teach us more about uh, this uh, classification uh, machine learning uh, models uh, so, so i think this is this is my understanding so far thank you okay uh, thank you abraham uh, and anybody else who wants to go next uh -huh. And also, thank you, Matthias, for sharing. And yeah, you, you are right. So we, you will be creating a credit credit scoring system, which can evaluate uh, um, the ability of potential borrowers or. Uh, the kind of scheme if you know it by now a little uh, service and so you want uh, to understand the risk behind it and also the score to, to score uh, to credit score uh, customers 
सिर्फ जीरो बन गए ओके जस्ट स्टार्ट एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी Okay, so now uh, for this week, you are uh, an analytics engineer in, uh, at Banky Bank. So it's a leading financial service provider with over 10 years of experience. So uh, Banky Bank is now partnering with uh, an e-commerce company to enable them to buy now pay, pay later uh, service. So, uh, for those of you who don't know this service, it's just like uh, you buy something with a debt and you pay it later. So the payment will be made later. And so the, the e commerce will actually collect the money from the bank and you will pay, you'll pay to the bank. That's basically it. And so now the project is to create a credit scoring model. So using the data provided by the platform, which is uh, e-commerce platform. And so just to give you a brief overview of uh, credit scoring, it's just a term used to describe the process of assigning a quantity measure to potential goal, which is a, it's just an estimate of uh, the borrower, the, an estimate of the probability in which the borrower will uh, default the payment or default means actually returning the loan so it will default or not so traditionally creditors build to the scoring models using statistical techniques and now so we want to, make, to do that using uh, other approaches so for example maybe machine learning approaches and for so the model can be used to evaluate the potential borrowers who applies for a loan and um, by providing similar information. So let's say you build a model based on the transaction data. So you require a transaction data to actually score and assess the risk of the potential borrower. And the result is a, uh, a score which represents a credit worthiness of an applicant or a prediction of whether an applicant will default in the future. So now we understand and we score the customer's credit and the next would be to actually uh, predict whether this actual customer can default or not in the future. So the definition of default in the context of credit scoring may vary between each financial institution. So try to read more about reference, more the references. So for example, the accord of uh, Based to capital, they have around three or four uh, accords. So try to understand those the differences between each. Well, almost most of the important references are listed here. You can just go through them. And so now the next your job would be uh, is to build uh, the product or a platform that actually defines a proxy variable, which can be used to categorize users as high risk or low risk. And the and also now you select observable features that are called predict, prediction uh, variables or predictors, or which have high correlation, which means uh, the the change of in these variables will actually make a, a huge impact in the default. So the which is the features that are highly correlated with the default. So now you develop a model that assigns risk probability of for any customer, and also you develop a model that assigns credit score, and develop a model that predicts the optimal amount and duration of the loan. So, so for example, you might not uh, up to four is, is enough, I would say. So, for example, you developing a model that assigns credit score from risk probability estimates, and also um that assigns risk risk probability estimates for a new customer so you can actually uh, pass that and develop a model that predicts optimal amount and duration of a law so the data and futures are uh, listed here so we have uh, we provide you with the dent data which is from a kaggle challenge and you can just find the data from kaggle or 
from the drive folder from the mentioned drive folder and for the transaction id you can just uh, check here if the data is located or not uh, i think you can hear me right okay thank you Aura. okay so uh, now for the uh, data fields now we have a uh, transaction id batch id uh, count id so transaction id is just a unique transaction identifier for the platform and batch id is batch transaction for processing a unique number and account id is a unique number identifying the customer on the platform and subscription id is just a unique identifier identifying the customer subscription customer id is for the unique identifier attached to an account currency is the country's currency country code it's self-descriptive provider id is just source provider for item both and product id is item name being both and product categories product ids uh, that are organized into uh broader product categories and channel id is if a customer used web ios or uh, pay later of checkout so and amount is the value of the transaction and value will be absolute value of the amount and transaction start time is just the start time of the transaction and pricing category is a category of present uh, pricing structure and fraud result is uh, this is from a fraud detection so you can just uh, omit that because it will not be uh, it will not be somehow uh, useful for our use case. So the learning outcomes will be future engineering, ML modeling, uh, CI/CD, Python logging, unit testing, building the. Uh, we, we will not be building dashboard for this case, but we just can't omit it. Model management and ML ops, which is CML and ML flow. And uh, now you can just skip the competency mapping and. Yeah, so we will have an interim submission as always on Wednesday and final submission on Saturdays. So now we go to the deliverables part. So uh, now the first thing to do here would be to understand credit risk. So uh, first you have to focus on to understand how to understand the concept of credit risk. So we have listed some references here. So make sure to go through them and try to understand any term terminologies any concepts and any ideas that are related to credit risk analysis and also credit scoring credit model and after you understand the concepts now you will have a more uh, clear approach for on the data so for example uh, now since you you don't understand the concept while you're trying to do the EDA, you'll just feel like it's a black box. So now, you first, you have to understand the concepts. And also, you you might not be a, an industry expert, but you will you will understand the main concepts that are, uh, that are under the credit risk model. So, now the first thing we would do is summary statistics and the next would be distribution of numerical features so now you'll try to understand if there are any patterns skewness and potential outliers and the next would be to understand the, dis the distribution between the categorical features and after that you'll try to do correlation analysis which will lead to uh, on the future uh, importance part you will have more understanding there and now you, are, you will identify outliers and also missing values so the next main task would be uh, to future engineering so now you will create aggregate you create aggregate features so which means total transaction amount for a customer average transaction amount for a customer and transaction count for a customer and extract features from day time like hour day month and year and now you will encode the categorical variables just like uh, country code, country uh, currency. You will use uh, encodings, or you can just 
label encoding or one hot encoding and the next would be handling missing values and to the final step would be to normalize and standardize the numerical feature so normalizing means just uh, you you uh, scale your data in a spe between specific ranges so you have a uh, minimum and the maximum you will normalize it based on that and standardization is scaling the data to have a mean of zero and standard deviation of one so you will do that and you will now you will use uh, other feature engineering uh, concepts or package like uh, experts uh, weight of evidence and information value that are actually specifically uh, will actually help you understand each features and also understand the correlation between each features so in the next tasks you will continue building the future importance by uh, understanding default estimates up and uh, weight of evidence um, being so the purpose of any credit scoring system is to classify high risk low risk and high risk or all low risk. so high risk, high risk groups are those with high uh, likelihood of default those who don't pay the loan principal and interest in the specified time frame so just to simplify the process we want we want you guys to construct a variable on uh for like just go through these uh, references and so now you will high risk and low risk now you, you will understand high high rfms score and low rfms score and also you can use these references here high value risk and also low value risk are uh, uh, clearly stated in the references so more you will do a research based um, project so you will do more reading you will do you will have to do more researching you will have to, to try to understand each uh, concept so you have to perform weight of evidence meaning by following uh, the listed references here so make sure to go through every reference and try to understand how things work and the next step would be modeling so in the modeling part you split your data as always uh, you split your data and you choose models, you train your models and you try to uh, tune your parameters using uh, grid search and random search. And the next would be you to evaluate your model, uh, which includes to, uh, to understand each metric. So for example, how accuracy should be uh, interpreted and also how precision should be interpreted and recall or sensitivity how it should be interpreted and also f1 score and roc which and aUC how they have to how they must be uh interpreted so which means area under the curve and also receiver operating characteristics curve so you have to understand how to interpret these variables and metrics in order to say uh, to evaluate your model so basically these are the main tasks or the the to-dos that you guys need, need to go through in order to have in order to uh, create a, an efficient credit risk model so the tutorial section would be uh, we will have uh, an introduction to credit risk analysis and modeling would given by Kerog and Tomorrow we will have another session on feature engineering, weight of evidence, and information value given by Yaya. And on Thursday we will have model training, hyperparameter training, and evaluation, which will be uh, delivered by Radiate. So in the interim submission, you will have uh, a different type of report for now. So for this week, you will. Uh, submit a review report of your reading and understanding of task one so if you go to task one we have understanding of credit risk so you have to uh, report uh, your review and understanding on that part and also any progress you made in the other tasks and also for the technique uh, for the code part you'll have to submit 
a link to your GitHub. And final submission would be a blog post entry. So you'll just can write a post in Medium and uh, submit the link, or you can just uh, create a PDF report and send, submit it and link it to your GitHub. And if you have any screenshots that can uh, that uh, you think that would demonstrate anything else you have done, make sure to include those. And you will have, these are, there are um, few references here, so you can just see specifically how credit risk determinants are selected in Ethiopia. And you can just uh, read these publications and also you'll have uh, much, there are much more uh, references here. Make sure to go through each and every one of them. Uh, okay, uh, so if any of you have any question, or is that clear, or? Okay, if you have uh, any question or any uh, confusion, you um, can just type in the chat or raise your hand. Okay, uh, thank you, Junior, for sharing uh, your understanding and also for responding. Mm, mostly, yeah, Abraham, uh, just try to, uh, just try to differentiate the models. Maybe one model can be an input for another one, but for this particular task, as you can see on the top section of the, you have to develop a model that assigns risk probability for a new customer. So this means that you will be, uh, your model will be provided with some variables that you have actually uh, uh, find out or uh, gathered from the data. So for example, you might just uh, find, find that amount and customer id is more important features than the other so that would be provided and based on that you'll develop a model that, uh, that your model will use that as an input and uh, assigns a risk probability for a new customer which is high risk low risk and you develop a mo another model that assigns credit score from risk probability estimates so if it's high risk you will have a different kind of credit score and if it's low risk you will have different kind of credit score and if you have uh, if you manage to do all uh, three and four now you will move to five and develop models that predict the optimal amount and duration of a loan so for example to loan for a customer a to loan around 100,000 birch what is the optimal um, what is the optimal duration and amount for that particular uh, customer based on that credit risk probability and also uh, credit score. Is that clear or not? Or anybody else who have any question? Okay, thanks, Abigail. And okay, okay, so if you have any question, you can just uh, mention it on Slack and uh, anybody who has a better understanding can share. Okay, uh, thank you. Okay, thank you, guys. I'll just stop uh, the recording and in the call.